If you haven't heard of Google's Mixboard yet, this video might be worth checking out. Google's Mixboard is an AI-powered whiteboard that helps you explore and refine your ideas in blocks. And today, it just got a massive upgrade from Google. If you thought it was powerful before, just wait, because we're talking about a ton of new features. You can now doodle directly on images to tell the AI exactly what to change. You can finally now run multiple boards in one project to organize the chaos which is going on in your brain. There's also now a selfie mode that you can use to snap a photo of yourself or something else around you and directly put it into the designs. But in my opinion, the real game changer is you can now instantly transform all your messy brainstorming board into a polished high fidelity presentation using Nano Banana Pro. So today I'm going to show you how to use these tools to plan a project from scratch, including how to use AI to style yourself. Let's dive in. Here's the scenario for this demo. Let's say I'm throwing a big holiday party and right now my plans are a mess. I have a PDF guide for the lights and a menu document for the food and I have no clue what I'm going to wear. So I need to put all of these ideas together and show my friend who's helping me host this. So now we're going to use the new mix board to organize the decorations, use the new camera tool to pick my outfit, and then finally turn all my messy notes into a beautiful presentation automatically. So with that in mind, let's get started. So to get into Mixboard, you need to come to labs.google.com and this is where you will click on experimentation and this is where you have Mixboard. So I'm going to click on that and then this should take us directly into Mixboard with your email login automatically, right? So once you are in Mixboard, this is how the welcome screen is going to look like. You already have some examples for you to get started pretty quickly. But in this case, I already have a thought process on what I'm going to do. So we'll just click on the new project. Now, the first thing that you will see, which is different if you have used this before, is this whole new transform button, which is out there. This was not existing before. And it also tells you the progress that you need to have in order to unlock that. Unless and until you have a full-blown mix board with multiple images and stuff like that, that transform button will not be activated and you will not be able to create a presentation. The other thing that you will notice here is now you have the capability to add multiple boards. So you can click on that and then suddenly you have different boards and then you can also rename all of these different boards so that you can organize your thoughts accordingly. And then you can refer um, all of these boards uh, simultaneously so that you can maintain context. The other interesting thing that you will notice here is now you have this new camera feature, which will allow you to take your own picture or if you have something like this, where you have a napkin and some sort of like a, a diagram that you have created, you can actually click a picture of that and directly insert that in the mix board. So all of these are some of the cool features that they have added. So what I was planning to do is in the scenario, like I already have a PDF documentation, which is also, by the way, a new feature that you can now add to provide additional context. So I want to really plan a good party, right? So party required some decoration and party required some food arrangements. And I've got some detailed instructions for both. So this is my light installation guide. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to upload this so that my mix board gets this context. And then I also have the food menu, which is also available here. Instead of me going through and typing all of this in a prompt, I'm just going to give the entire PDF document in context. With that in mind, let's go ahead and do this. Now, I also want to separate both. So I'm going to see, keep this as decor. And then I'm going to create another board, which I'm going to call as light the food. I want to have both, both together, right? So now I'm going to get into my decor and I'm going to upload the light installation PDF here. And then I'm going to begin asking a bunch of different things for it. Too. So I'm also going to upload the image of the house and the front yard as an example here. And then we will select both. And here is the prompt that I'm giving, right? So keeping the light installation guide in mind, which is this one, give me ideas for front porch light decorations for Christmas holidays for both day and night. So the idea is it should take the light installation guides reference and then it should be able to create how the front porch should have the lighting based on the light installation guide right so it should keep all of that in mind and there you go it has done a wonderful job and you can see that it has created this keeping the lighting and everything in mind so you can see all of these different images that are created so this is during the daytime and this is really going inside inside this portion of it so you can see that it has given a lot of different a lot of different ideas right so the other thing which you can do is you can easily go ahead and edit it. So I want to add, add a wreath on top of the garage and generate five different versions of this in nighttime. So with just one command, you can basically generate things in blocks. And that is another 
wonderful feature that Mixboard has, which is otherwise you could do something similar with Nano Banana. But then here the idea is you can basically get to multiple levels of visualizations all, all together very quickly. So you can see that I just asked it to, to generate this multiple times. So you can see there are different versions of this. You can clearly see that this is one wreath. This is another one. This is another one. So you can see like very quickly it has, it has created like multiple different versions of wreaths here, right? So pretty handy that way, right? So now I've got like a lot of these ideas and also keep in mind like this is, everything is based on this particular PDF documentation as well, right? So it is definitely keeping all of that in mind as well. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the holiday party menu and then I want it to create images of all the food items which are listed in the menu, right? Let's see what it comes back with. We have a lot of interesting stuff in the food menu along with some desserts as well. Let's see what it comes back with. Then the idea is once you have this, all of these images as well, you could actually upload this. You could also share this along with the image of the house, right? Then the last thing is I can also upload my own image here, right? So I'm going to take a picture of this, right? So this is something that I just took. And then let's see if I, yeah, I can dress the man in festive attire, right? So let's see if it is able to do that. So it was able to do a decent job here. And you can see that it gave me in five different forms. So this was the original image that we just took, right? And then here it has got me in a bow tie and like different types of leather jackets and stuff like that, right? Again, pretty cool. This is something which, you know, which was not possible before. And now you're able to see, you're able to see this, right? What you can do next is you can select all of this together, right? So you just use this particular one and then click on transform. And this is again, brand new, right? So you can just say that, hey, create, create a presentation on the upcoming holiday party with food, with food, lighting, and me as a host. Okay. And we'll just have modern poster design, visual deck and transform, right? So it's going to take a little bit time as you can see here. And then once it is done, we'll come back and look at the results. But you can see that this is like a lot of brainstorming stuff that is going on over here. You had your light installation guide, you had the holiday party menu, and then you had the live picture that we took in, in using the webcam. Now we're asking Mixboard to mix it together and then come back to us with a fantastic presentation. So. We'll wait for it to finish and then I will show you the final results. But this is Mixboard for you. All right, looks like it has done its job. It says it's ready, so let's click on it. And there you go. So the festive gathering of warm and light, right? Let's click on presentation. Let's see what it has come back with. And then let's go full screen here and then click on present. So the winter, this is great. The element of light, a welcome glow, fantastic. This just looks so great. The principles of illumination, it is now taking the the guidance from the lighting PDF. So it's great. And then the element of taste, beautiful roasted ch chestnut and part, part beautiful. It is exactly taking the menu from the dish and it has brought it over here, the main event. This is amazing. And sweet endings. It is exactly what was in the menu, the element of company. And there you go. This is the host, the invitation. This is just fantastic. So you can see that how, you know, it was able to create the presentation. You can then download this as a PDF and share it across the board. So this is something which is brand new, which was not there. And now you can see that Mixboard really allows you to create all of these interesting things and, and go ahead and share it as a presentation to, to your audience, right? So really taking the next level of not only just brainstorming, but taking an action with it and really the power of Nano Banana and the Google models coming together with a deeper understanding is clearly in display here. So that is what I wanted to show you today and discuss today. I hope this added value. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit that like button and please do subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next one.